I have a question here regarding adjusting the Z offset in Creality Print Slicer version 5 from user Aldrin.Sarmiento. He asks, where can I find that setting in the new Creality Slicer 5.1? And this is in the comments on uh, video, the, an older video that was for earlier version of the Creality Print Slicer. Uh, so this is how that's done. And I also made a video on how to hack that before I found the setting here. But anyway, so if you go into your, um, like you can download this, your own flow B. Anyway, uh, so it's a little bit uh, not entirely intuitive where the various settings are in here. You got this settings over here, you got this settings over here, you got these settings over here. A sneaky one is over here. So if you hit printers here, now here's your printers and here's where you select which printer you're using. And here's where you edit the printer settings. And in here is where you can adjust the Z offset. So you have you choose select which printer you want to adjust it for here. And then you have these tabs across the top. And so on this basic information tab, you have this Z offset. And then this is where you do it, but not so fast because if I try to say minus 0.05 it doesn't take the decimal point and so I found this a long time ago and made some assumptions and I'll get into that for more first I'll just tell you how you do it so the trick is in order to put in the decimal point you have to put the zero first which is ridiculous so now I can do that or point minus point oh two or whatever I want to do right and so that's how you do that so that's the key here is that you can't just say minus 0.05 because it doesn't take the decimal point you have to go 0 0.04 or whatever and now you do it. I wonder if I could go to three places probably not I, could, uh, I can I don't think you need I don't think it's gonna make any difference because in millimeters that's ridiculously nothing but point is uh, this is where it is and of course my dog just came in and now he's gonna make noise um, so a couple couple extra things though yeah so i remember when i before i even found this setting because it's tricky to find in the first place where, where these settings are i figured out a hack and you might even want to use this workaround hack whatever you want to call it is if you just open a g-code file from an older slice from the older slicer uh, there will be, if you open the G-code file in a text editor, you can find, <laughs> my dog is old and belligerent, uh, you, anyway, you can find a, this, uh, there's another video on my channel, but you can find a, um, if you want to see it in more detail, just check my channel, search my channel for offset, uh, but there, you can just take the line of code out of the G-code file and copy it and paste it into your new file at the beginning, um, of the print code and paste it in there and then adjust the number it's like if you do a control F for offset it should it should bring you right to where it says G code offset in the code and the number value and copy and paste it um, regarding this is, so there's a funny story well last thing uh, so that was I did that video and that was a way to hack it so then after that I figured out that there was this uh, the printer setting and uh, this printer settings uh, printer man manager manage printer settings whatever it is um, I found this and I said oh there it is and I tried and I did this thing where I said minus 0.05 and it didn't take the decimal point and I said that's weird and I highlighted here and it says something about it allows you to adjust the Z offset. For example, if your end stop zero actually leaves the nozzle point three millimeters far from the print bed, set this to minus point three. And so I thought, oh, well, this is for a different reason, and so it's not as precise because of the way they worded that. Because that's not why I use Z offset. I use Z offset because I want to tune the squish into the bed, fine tune it. It has nothing to do with my end stop. So because they worded it that way, I said, oh, maybe I just can't go that precise with it. Um, and so I gave up on it, and I used that uh, G-code copy-paste hack, 
work around and that's not a big deal because it's pretty simple to do anyway just slightly annoying but now just today i came back in to show this and i said minus point oh and it would i'm like oh, i won't take the decimal point again i thought maybe i needed to restart my printer i thought back then that maybe i when i first figured this out that it worked i thought maybe it was because i updated to like version 5.2 from version 5.1 because version 5.1 wasn't working for me uh but nope that was all wrong thinking uh just figured this out today when i went to make this video that you need the zero before the decimal point that's all it is so once you put that in zero you can make it whatever you want so that is that um beyond that one final unrelated tip if you're going to cook with jalapeno peppers, uh, make sure you wash your hands after, bef somewhere in between cutting the jalapeno peppers and touching your eyeball with your finger. Uh, ask me how I figured that out today. So anyway, thanks for watching and uh, uh, keep your glue stick in a vice and uh, yeah, don't let your heart in. Hey, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments any questions or anything else you'd like to see a video about. And if you like this video, then please consider helping the channel grow by clicking like, subscribe, and uh, share with your like-minded friends.